hi guys welcome to my channel as so by cleo i am bringing you guys a drugstore makeup today and it is inspired by tiffany jones she did not use drugstore products but i recreated the look the best way i can using drugstore products if you're interested in seeing the video let's get right into I'm it i'm going to upload the picture of the recreation and i'm going to be doing from tiffany jones and I'm going to be using two palettes only to recreate that look. This is how the first one looks. And we're just going to be playing around with the nude shades at the bottom. And this palette is from Isol G, Normal Girl. And this palette is from someone that is a bohemian. She's local. And I also have this palette here that's Drugstore B Bella sweetest valentine shadow palette and it has these and i'm going to dabble into two of the colors now if you guys want to see a dedicated eyebrow routine comment down below hashtag eyebrow. i'm going to use my julius place um number 10 eyeshadow eyeshadow my number 10 concealer and i'm just going to pat that all over the eyelids even though I already went in with some color, I don't think it came off the best it could. So I'm just going to do that. And I am sorry in advance for any bunch of loud noise that might be, you know, passing or in the video. But I live like really close to the road. I'm going to use the Issa G palette first. And I'm just going to take this color here. It's not named, but this is how it kind of looks. And I'm just going to go right here and I am doing circular motions to blend the shade out. Now like I always mention, who is this? Like I always mention, if there's any, you know, videos y'all want to see me do, comment. It doesn't have to be makeup any videos period i want to hear from you guys and you know see what you want to see me do because i am here for you i'm so used to what i do on one eye do on the other eye so it's going to be it's going to be kind of different or new to just do one eye on and then go and do the next eye of camera anyway um I'm done blending that for now so I'm going to go into this shade here and it's kind of a orangish brown shade I'm going to take another blending brush something yeah, I'm gonna take another blending brush and it says sorry it says contour brush but contour number nine but I'm going to take this. This would actually be nice for the nose. I'm going to take this and I'm going to blend some shadows in. So let's do that. I'm going to take that same shade. And I am um, basically just using that first color. And I'm going to go back in with the first color once I'm done. I'm going to go back with that first brush. And I am going to take that same first color. And I'm going to go back in with that because I want some depth to this look. Depending on how I'm feeling and I'm, I think I'm really, really feeling it. I'm going to go in with another shadow, another palette. Now I have this palette here. I am not sure who this palette is by. Doesn't have any name or anything and it's pretty banged up. But it gets the job done and I'm going to go in with this deep brown right here. This color is very, very deep. And I just want to add some depth, some drama to this look. And get the look as close to the original creation as possible. And you see that this brush is really getting in that crease because we're not doing a cut crease today so this shadow this brush sorry is really getting in down 
and this is now giving me the drama the depth that I was looking for um I'm thinking about doing like mental check-ins every time I do a video you know because mental health is very very important so I'm gonna go back in with my second shade my second brush and that's from the ESO G palette um yeah mental mental health is very very important so I'm thinking about you know doing mental mental check-ins every time I do a makeup video y'all can tell me how y'all feel about that this shade here And I'm just going to blend that at the top. This camera is seriously not doing this makeup any justice whatsoever. I'm now going to take my flat brush that I concealed my brows with and I'm going to just clean up the lid. I'm not doing a gut crease so I don't want it precise but I'm just going to pat that on. Just giving myself some lid space, a clean lid space. And now I'm going to go back in with my first color and that is right here and I'm going to blend out where I put the concealer just now so that when I go in with my lid color it is diffused. Okay guys, now I'm going to go in with a flat brush, take this nude shade and I'm going to pat that all over the, the lid space where I applied the concealer. Okay, we're looking pretty good so far. I think I want to bring the brown out a little bit more. So I'm just going to take the brush and just slightly bring that out. There you go. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. I'm going to use that same palette from Be Bella. And now I'm going to take the other end of this brush. I'm going to use this. It's more of like a pink glitter shade. I'm going to put this on this brush, but I am not going to swipe. I'm going to tap this onto the eyelid. liner is from Italia Beauty I've had this for a while I've had this for a while and I do liners just about every time I do my makeup and I do my makeup quite often if you follow me on Instagram you would know and I'm going to put my Instagram tag at the bottom of the screen And now I'm going to do the other eye. this glitter liner and I'm just going to take this glitter liner and place it all over the lighter part of the eye. Okay. 
now I am going to speed through I'm going to speed through the face portion of it if you're interested in seeing what I do um, for my face routine then I would suggest watching my previous video I am now going to apply highlight and I'm going to use my the same highlight that I used in my first video that I linked above earlier so be sure to check it out this nabby lipstick in the color mocha and I'm just gonna go around my lips with this this is an actual lipstick not a liner message from present day Cleo C squad I did not see that glob of foundation on my chest I definitely moved it before I took pictures I get a lot of use out of my Juvia's Place um, concealer. I get a lot of use out of it. Pretty neutral, matches the eyes. So we have a little bit of like a monochrome going on with the eyes and the lips. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it and I will insert pictures. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. Remember that sharing is caring and I will see you guys in the next one. Always remember to be kind, confident and courageous.